Hi, I'm Monica. Uh, I'm from Coffee Science Lab in Melbourne. Today I'm here at Wolf Coffee Roasters. Today I would like to show you how to design and create your brew water uh, using mineral concentrates. The three most abundant minerals in natural waters are calcium, magnesium and bicarbonate and these are the ones that influence the taste of your coffee the most. We are going to make our stock solutions or concentrates using pure laboratory grade minerals. We will make one concentrate using calcium, one using magnesium and another one using bicarbonate sources. I've designed the recipes in a way that the calcium and magnesium solutions will give you 1000 ppm general hardness each and the bicarbonate solution will give you 1000 ppm carbonate hardness. The reason we do that is that once you've made these concentrates it will become really easy to mix and dilute them to create a brew water that will highlight the best in any coffee of your choice. Let me show you how to make your first concentrate from calcium chloride. So I'm going to make one liter of concentrate uh, using um, a one liter jug uh, and I'm going to weigh in 1.47 grams of calcium chloride dihydrate which will give me exactly 1000 ppm of general hardness. As we're making brew water from scratch I'd like to top this up with a liter of pure water that has no dissolved minerals in it such as uh, Puro that uh, you can buy from the supermarket. All right, let's do it. While I add the water, I like to swirl it around to dissolve the mineral before I actually finish topping it up to one liter. Once the minerals have dissolved in the water, um, I'm going to pour them into a labeled bottle um, and keep it in the fridge until I need to use it. Now I'm going to repeat the same process uh, for magnesium chloride. With this one I need to use 2.03 grams uh, to create that same 1000 ppm general hardness. Let's top it up with Pura again to a litre. Once again, I'm going to pour the ready-made concentrate uh, into a labeled bottle and keep it for later. The last concentrate I'd like to make uh, is potassium bicarbonate. I will need to use exactly 2 grams of that to create 1000 ppm carbonate hardness in the concentrate. Once we have weighed out the mineral, we will just dilute it to 1 litre using pure water once again. While the calcium and magnesium solutions will last you quite a long time, I'd recommend that you make the bicarbonate freshly every um, three or four days, um, just because uh, bacteria do enjoy uh, living in bicarbonate solutions. So now that we've got our three concentrates, this is when the fun part starts. From here, building your own water becomes really easy. If you would like to add, let's say, 100 ppm general hardness using calcium, all you need to do is to add 100 milliliters of the calcium stock solution into a one liter jug. This will give you 100 ppm calcium in your brew water. You can also create any ratio of calcium to magnesium using these two different concentrates. So we've added 100 ppm of calcium. What if we now would like to add another 50 ppm of magnesium to that? But then all we need to do is to add 50 milliliters of the magnesium solution. With bicarbonate, I usually only like to use about 10 ppm or maybe a maximum of 20, uh, just because bicarbonates react with the acidity in coffee. And they, if you add too much, they can dull the acidity, they can flatten it quite a bit. But if you have really sharp acidity, you might want to round it out a bit using a little bit more bicarbonate. So let's say I want to add 10 uh, ppm of bicarbonate to my brew water. In that case, all I need to do is to add 10 milliliters of it. So by adding the three different concentrates, I've created a water that now has 100 ppm of calcium, 50 ppm of magnesium, and 10 ppm of bicarbonate. All I need to do now is to top it up with pure water to one liter. 
So this recipe I gave you was just one example. It might not suit your coffee at all, or it might do. Um, but what's the really cool thing about these three different solutions is that from now on, it's really up to you to experiment. What I'd like to do first is to adjust the ratio of calcium to magnesium. Maybe I start from uh, 50 ppm calcium, 50 ppm magnesium, which adds up to um, 100 ppm general hardness altogether. Uh, and then I can adjust that ratio to increase the magnesium, decrease the calcium, or the other way around. Once I'm happy with the ratio, then I dial the general hardness up or down, and again I see uh, which one suits my coffee the best. So using these concentrates, you can create any brew water recipe really easily as you like. With every milliliter of solution you add, you're adding 1 ppm of hardness. In the case of calcium and magnesium, they will add to general hardness. In the case of the bicarbonate, it will add to carbonate hardness. Fun fact, when we talk about PPMs, do you know that they actually mean parts per million? If you think about it, milligrams per liter are actually the exact same measurement because there's one million milligrams uh, in a kilogram or a liter of water. So when we're talking about TDS in water, PPMs and milligrams per liter are interchangeable. There's no perfect water to suit every single coffee. But what these concentrates do is they give you the freedom to experiment and work out what uh, highlights the best notes uh, in any coffee that you're using. If you just used a pre-made packet or a pre-designed recipe, it might suit your coffee or it might not. But in that case, you've got no power to change it. When you're designing your brew water, um, just a couple of tips to keep in mind. When you're adding more magnesium, uh, the general experience is that it will enhance fruity or floral notes, especially lighter ones. Whereas calcium will work more on the heavier notes, say dark fruits, chocolates, nutty flavors. Uh, it can add a little bit of creaminess to your coffee. So add more calcium if you want to enhance those. Add more magnesium if you want to enhance those fruits and florals. Like I mentioned before, you would like to add bicarbonate if you find that the acidity in your coffee is too sharp. It's good to maintain small base level of bicarbonate but you would really only want to add more uh, if you find that your coffee is too acidic. Adding too much bicarbonate can result in a flat dull taste. Thank you for watching and I hope you've learned a little bit about how to create your own brew water. If you would like to grab these minerals um, you can find them at coffeesciencelab.com.au mm -hmm.